Hello there, friends and family. Welcome to the Navas' Kitchen. Today, we're going to be preparing our Ghanaian rice pilaf, affectionately and popularly known as anguamo. Now, this is a very simple yet extremely flavorful rice dish that incorporates very few ingredients, probably under five ingredients, and you'll see what I mean. Now, if you haven't seen my video on how I cure lamb, which is locally known as tolo bifi in Ghana, you ought to watch that video. I have linked the video in the description box below for your convenience. So here is our tolo bifi or cured lamb, which I've taken a piece of it and cut it into very small pieces. So you want about a cup full of very small pieces of tolo bifi. So that's ready and we are also ready to cook. So your pot needs to be on medium heat and you're going to add just a small amount of oil to it and you're going to pour in your pieces of cured lamb or tolo bifi. And you're going to cook it until you start seeing some brown on it. Now our tolo bifi here resembles Italian pancetta. If you're familiar with Italian cuisine, you know pancetta is great in so many different dishes, which is really cured pork belly. This lamb that's been cured is so very similar to pancetta and bacon too, just without the smokiness. So when it's cooked well, especially when it's caramelized, it imparts this nutty, beautiful flavor to the dishes and I absolutely love it in this dish. You ought to try it. You're going to fall in love just like I have. So I've just poured two cups of water into the pot and I cover it and turn the heat down to the lowest setting and I let it braise. What happens when that we do that is it pulls the salt content. All that sodium gets pulled out of the meat and you'll see that it's coated the sides and the bottom of that pot. And the meat is really without so much salt now. Now I go in and then I add coconut oil, the cold pressed kind for more flavor. I love coconut oil. If you haven't already noticed that, I use it a lot in my cooking. And then I continue to caramelize the meat. Now braising also helps to cook the meat through. So that's another reason why we add the water to it. Then I add my onions, thinly sliced, half a medium sized onions, which I'm also going to caramelize and that will bring us even more flavor. So you cook that for about another three minutes until the onions have become caramelized. And then we're going to remove the onions and set them aside. We will reincorporate them later on. So you notice that the meat is very caramelized and it's nutty tasting right now. It's so gorgeous. So yeah, take these onions out and set them aside. And now we're going to add our washed rice. I'm using basmati rice here, a long grain fragrant kind of rice. And I have washed it thoroughly till the water turns clear. And now I'm toasting it after incorporating it into the pot. The water from the rice is going to lift off all those brown bits and incorporate it into the rice dish. That is nothing but a lot of flavor. So you don't have to worry about the brown bits on the bottom. All that will be lifted off. And then I add six cups of water to it, as I just did, and stir the pot nicely to get everything evenly incorporated. And then we're going to cover the pot and let it cook for 20 to 25 minutes undisturbed. Now at this point, we are about 25 minutes into the preparation. You taste for salt. This is the point you want to taste for salt when it comes to a, a very gentle boil. And if you don't have enough salt in there, you always want to season your food properly. So then you add a little more salt, stir it and cover the pot and let it just continue to cook. Now 20, 25 minutes afterwards, you're going to take the lid off and go in with your fork to fluff the rice up. You'll notice that it is still moist. We still have some water in there. It's not completely cooked, but this is the perfect time to reintroduce your caramelized onions. And just take a look at that and tell me that is in flavor you're looking at. Tell me that you don't want to try this recipe. Guys, it's a very simple recipe, but it's very delicious, big in flavors. So cover the pot back up after reintroducing the onions and let it cook for five minutes still on low heat and voila. Your rice pilaf anguamo is ready 
to be served. Now I added some of my homemade sardines to this dish. When I served it, that is. Now what I'm doing here is a quick slaw with some tomatoes, some white cabbage onions. I added olive oil and some balsamic vinegar to introduce some tanginess into the dish, which is really rich anyway. So it needs it And this red pepper sauce right here. Oh, you cannot have your anguamo without your red pepper sauce. That's how we call it in tree in Ghana. Just look at this gorgeousness happening and tell me you're not inspired to try the recipe. I just hope you are. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make it a great day, my friends and family, and have fun, especially in that kitchen.